Konada Shideki Gloiso. Today we're going to learn how to make Welsh cow. Denama, Melna Kegin. Come here, we're going to the kitchen. Right. Melna's saucepan in the saucepan is the turkey bones left over from uh, Christmas. Now, Dalek. And what we're going to do, we're going to boil that with some water. I'll put the light on for you. So that's just going to boil in there for a while. I don't know, an hour, two hours maybe, let it simmer and then we take the bones out. We'll come to that later. Okay, so this has been simmering for a while now, so now we need to get the bones out. Bones, bones coming out. Okay, so there we are, we've taken the bones out. We did use a sieve to get the bones out. You wanna make sure you get them all out. Sometimes you can get some bones still left in it, so you need to be a little bit careful. But generally, if you've been sieved it and you've picked at it, you'll find that there's no bones in there. Now often with a cow, people use beef or whatever they've got really. Lamb, some people use ham. In this instance, we've used the turkey bones from Christmas dinner. It makes a nice good stock. Now to get the uh, vegetables in. Okay, we've got some tattoos, potatoes, uh, we've got a leek and we've got a carrot. A couple of carrots. Best word in Welsh ever, carrot is moron. Moron is a carrot. So next time someone calls you a moron, say, no, I'm not a carrot. Awesome that when you're making this, you use swede. Um, as I showed you earlier, I've used carrots, leeks, and potatoes, as you can see there. I'm not a great lover of swede, but you can use any root vegetable you want. If you've got parsnips that you want to use, or you know anything like that that you want to put in, you put it in, it's entirely up to you. As I say, we use turkey bones as opposed to using the beef joint. Um, you could use chicken bones to make the stock. I've added some salt and pepper to this, and I've also added a little bit of garlic seasoning. I do like a touch of garlic. It's, uh, just gives it a nice little bit of extra flavour. Best way to serve this is with some nice chunks of bread and some blocks of cheese. I like to put the block of cheese in my bowl, and then it tastes really nice. So you want some uh, batter of cows, so batter being bread, cows being cheese. Strong cheese is quite good, a strong cheddar and you just heat it up when you want it. Spoon it out into a bowl, warm up what you want, and eat it. And this is a great way of using your leftovers, especially after Christmas. So if you want to add extra turkey or beef or lamb or pork or whatever you want to put in there, you just put it in there, it's your choice. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my little video on cow, and I hope you give it a go. Now, Dolly Clowin, and I'm loving you with her. Bye, bye.